bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on this new Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. So, I'm really excited about this because it's a matte setting spray, but also because I have the Pore Eclipse Primer and I love this stuff. I talked about it a lot when it came out. Um, so I'm very excited for this. Anything matte, because I'm an oily skin lady, I love. So let's go ahead and get right into this review and wear test because I don't wanna waste any time. So keep okay, watching. Guys. So this is what the bottle looks like. I always love Milk's packaging. It's very like chic, like, Ooh, yes, okay. So let's talk a little bit about the product, shall we? Milk Makeup was kind enough to send this over to me. So this is supposed to be a mattifying and blurring setting spray. It retails for $38, so it is not cheap at all. Does it have a mini size? Okay, they need to launch a mini if they don't have one. Let me see. They don't have a mini? That is so strange. This does contain 2.8 ounces. Okay, so this is a weightless, alcohol-free matte setting spray that locks on makeup for up to 16 hours. It helps blur pores, control shine for a soft focus finish. It contains the same ingredients as the primer, which, if I can pick it up, the primer, which is lentil extract, which helps control shine, niacinamide and pore blurring microspheres, which help minimize the look of pores and fine lines, and baku chill, which helps smooth skin texture. This is vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. So we're just gonna get right to it. I already have my makeup on for the day. I wanted to do something a little, just simple, like a simple quick glance. So the best way for me to do this wear test is to only do one side of the face so I can see how it compares and contrasts with a setting spray and without a setting spray. So we're gonna leave this side as is and we're just gonna go ahead and spray this side of the face. I always do a test spray because of the fact that if I go straight in and it accidentally isn't working and it just sprays my face badly, it's gonna be a problem, especially when I work so hard for my look. So um, this does have a really nice fine mister, so let me actually read the directions. It says shake well, hold bottle eight to 10 inches from face and spray two to four times evenly to coat. So we're shaking it well. That's my issue sometimes. Sometimes I don't read directions and then I learn the hard way. So, okay, I do that. And we're just gonna fan it. I wanna see how fast it sets on the skin. Cause I feel like sometimes with some sprays, they don't set fast, so you kind of also want to tell how that does. I feel like this is definitely setting. You know what I need? I need one of those little fans. You know those little fans that just like, you, you use to like set your face? That's what I need right now. Okay, I have to say, it definitely like set quickly. Cause I find that one issue with me and certain, ooh, it even got on some of my hair and like, can you guys see? <laughs> Oh my God, it got on some of my hair and it almost like gave me like that hairspray effect. Like it made my hair stiff on this side. And it took some of that shine away. I literally just did my hair and it like literally like took some of that shine away. Not sticky either, which is good because sometimes with some setting sprays they're sticky. But okay, let's, let's come in close with the mirror. Okay, so it definitely set. And we sprayed a good amount of it. So it's not like we sprayed a little bit of it. Definitely set the face. Um, I'm kind of impressed with the fact that it sets so nicely considering how much we sprayed because sometimes when you spray a lot, like I said, it like drips off your face. It looks really, really like luminous, but this set, this is just the makeup on its own, no setting spray. This is the makeup with the setting spray. Now, I do want to talk about like blurring and all that. I do have texture. And you guys can see, like my texture is pretty prominent. So it's not like, it's not gonna, this isn't gonna make that go away. I'm sorry, it's not. It may help the longevity of my makeup, but right now looking at it, it's not gonna make my texture go away or anything like that. What I'm gonna be really curious to see is going to be how it wears for the rest of the day. That's what's gonna really determine how this does. So right here, like I said, we have the setting spray right here, we don't. It does give you that soft matte finish because you guys saw it sprayed the face and it looked like, you know when you first spray a face and it's like very like wet and luminous looking, that immediately like went in. And even like my hair, like it gave my hair like almost that like 
effect of me applying like some hairspray like it really like locked into place so that's what we have going on now um right now it is it even got on my phone too. Right now it is 3.21 p.m. I got a late start because I was working on some other stuff, but we're gonna wear this for the entire day. My goal is to wear this until like midnight. So we're gonna see how this does. I will do a, a natural lighting clip so you guys can see the difference and similarity. Impressions, not bad. Is it completely matte? No, it's not, but I definitely saw the difference and I think you guys did too. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's do a transfer test. Hold on. We're gonna do a transfer test real quick. I'll be right back. I have here my paper towel, it's white, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Oh wait, you guys can see it's on there. Pretty good. The only thing that transferred was my lip, right there. Let me try it again on this side, and I'll do it higher. So you guys can see, can you see that it's on my cheek? Pretty damn good. So, I'm gonna take this clip off. I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my day and I will see you guys later. Okay guys, so here is the setting spray in natural lighting. This is with just the makeup on. This is with the setting spray. What are we thinking? I feel like it doesn't smooth my texture, but I definitely do feel like this side looks like a soft matte finish, which I like. It's like soft matte, but not flat. With no setting spray setting spray let me know what you guys think okay bonita so i am back right now it is 12 34 at midnight it is midnight is literally the next day i've been wearing this for the entire day we started a little later in the day which is why we went all the way to midnight today but we gotta go to wear so this is the side where we went in with the setting spray and this is the side where we didn't go with setting spray and i have to say i can see a difference do you guys see how like this doesn't look as oily as this? Like it did pretty well. And I do appreciate that because that doesn't happen often for me. Um, and I like the fact that it's still on in place. It looks a little bit less oily on this side. It feels comfortable. I saw that it didn't transfer on that white paper towel and I was very appreciative of that because a lot of times things can transfer for me. So this is really nice. And I feel like as somebody with oily skin, because the skin can get dewy faster, things can transfer faster. So I appreciate that this didn't do that, but the fact that this wore this well from 3 p.m. until midnight is definitely a good thing. I definitely do recommend this if you do have oily skin. I think this is gonna be something that you're going to enjoy. Obviously, it's not completely matte, but it's definitely not as dewy as if you don't go in with the setting spray. You can also use this also to retouch for the day if you want to. Um, so that's another really nice thing, like to refresh the face. Milk did their thing with this. Pretty much it. I hope that you guys are watching this video. If you do have oily skin, I would suggest checking this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed because I'm exhausted. If you guys are watching this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let's be continue doing these type of videos for you guys. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Adios, bonita.